Hi, this is Doug Schneider. Welcome back to Real High Five for the fourth and final visit to Monitor Audio, where I talk to Michael Hedges about various things. And this final episode is something that we could see there and most users will never see. And that's how the mid-range and tweeter assembly goes together. It's really cool. Watch it. Flip around the whole array. So the back side, all the little drivers, and it's really cool the way this fits together. Can you explain it? Yeah, so we have two surfaces, uh, the front baffle, and we have a clamping plate on the rear here that holds the whole, all the mid-range drivers and the tweeter together, clamped between the two parts. So if I remove this spacing clamp plate here, do you want me to hold it yep. for you? Sure. You'll see that uh, that basically holds the back of all the driver units, the mid-range drivers down, and it will hold the tweeter down. These individual mid-range drivers are, are individually come out, so they have no screws on them, no chassis, no, no sort of conventional mounting method. No, no bolts, and they have a little thing, right? Yeah, they have a little pip. So there's one design of the mid-range driver, and every single mid-range driver sits in a different position in order that it can sit in front of the tweeter here. So we hold that one as well. I'll lift this tweeter out. You can see how the tweeter sits into the slots on the back of the driving. And no bolts. Basically, no, yeah, yeah, on a conventional speaker, there's always little bolts mm -hmm. holding everything down. This has no bolts. Everything slots together. It's perfectly machined. Absolutely. Machined to quite high tolerances, such that it all fits together and nothing uh, rubs into it each other and that it all goes together in a nice and easy way. Now, what's also interesting is just the amount of work we had to do to get these mid-range drivers as close as you possibly could. So these are fully custom uh, drive units that have been engineered such that they, they fit in this way and they, it's really hard to show you, but like, there'll be some, some B-roll, I suppose, that will show this, but you'll see how the tweeter sits on top of, yes, the edges of the mid-range drivers. And, and at least part or all of the reason of eliminating the bolts is to get everything. Absolutely. Not just to have a kind of a cool way to fit together, yeah. but to get everything as close. There's absolutely no space in this design to have screws to fit it together. Mm -hmm. um, they all have to be migrated to the back and, and, and a sort of a clamping uh, type array. This is really cool. We then have, if you take the tweeter, on the back of the clamp mount, we then have two resistors. And what we do in production is we take each of these pods, um, we measure the, all the mid-range drivers, and we measure the tweeter, and then we adjust these resistors on the back to make sure they all measure identically. Okay. We then pair match those, those pods. So every hyphen has tuned and pair matched mid pods in them in production for perfect, for absolutely perfect. And again, this comes down to Hyphen's a demonstration of soundstage. Soundstage, to be right, you need to have the accuracy of these left and right aspects. speakers, and they have to be identical. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. That's really fascinating. Brilliant. Thank you. All told, we left Monitor Audio thoroughly impressed by all aspects of the Hyphen's design. Not just the acoustical design, but how it all fits together. When I saw that tweeter mid-range assembly, I said, we got to put that on video, so obviously we did. I hope it was informative. Thank you for watching.